Well, it's a beautiful day, guys. I'm doing aluminum doors. I got a few sides sitting here. I got a bunch of windows that's got to be done. Uh, what do we got there? Three or four there. And I brought some more that's here that's got to be done. So another four or five there. And there's another probably four or five around the back. Maybe more. I don't know. Maybe there's more than that. Plus what I take out of these, of this door. So when I did the doors, I already took the one piece off before throwing this. It's actually, I still got to get this piece out because it's got steel springs in it. So... Usually all I do is just step on it. So essentially I didn't do any more hammer into this baby, I'll show you. Take it. Step on it where the crease is. I don't have my steel toes on today, guys. It's Sunday. And there it is. Take the spring out of it, and then it's still extrusion. But these pieces most times are steel. So yeah, they just move. So but that's all I do to these. So there's three of them in it. Another one there, another one at the other end I gotta do yet. And this here, I find always the best way to get these screws out. I'm sorry to say, I give them a little tap. <laughs> okay, so it's a little more than a tap. <laughs> and then usually they'll come out most times. Not always, though, sometimes they'll break off. And this one, this one definitely doesn't want to be, but that's why they invented a grinder. So, but they'll come out once I give a few more. They'll definitely come out. Sometimes you got to beat them, guys. See how many times I hit it? But they came out. They were, like, literally stripped. That wasn't that one. Uh, I think it was this one actually here, guys. But my drill still got it out. It came out. Oh, can you see it? Yeah, they didn't want to come out, but you know what? Give them some taps with a hammer, 9 times out of 10. Just as long as you don't catch the uh, the top of this here. Um, sometimes you can bend the uh, the flat or the, the square, and it makes it really hard. But you know what? If you got a grinder or whatever, you can always get them out. Uh, there's many ways to do it, so but I'm going to continue on. I already got the two at this top end done. I got to do these ones here yet. These are the long ones that go down in here, so we'll get them out. And that's what I'm doing, guys. I'm just doing aluminum doors because aluminum is a good price. Extrusion. This is extrusion, guys. So for you guys who don't know, it's extrusion. And extrusion is paying good right now. So time to get some cleaned. I got quite a bit to go. So I'm going to probably load the truck half steel. And half extrusion and maybe i might throw some low copper i don't know yet might throw some else on it i don't know we'll see how my load goes i've got a pickup to do on monday um my campground called so actually there are two campgrounds side by side they own so i gotta pick that up so i'll be trucking trailer probably like it usually is makes it a good load that's my first pickup of the year for them but it's time to go warm up guys today's a beautiful day and i'm inside working in it in shorts and i'm loving it in a t-shirt so yeah it's nice all right, so I got all the screws out of it, guys. As you can see, look at the pile of screws in that wall. They're not probably all of it yet. I still got to take that piece off yet there, and he's got to come out yet. I got two more here that's got to come out yet. These don't want to come out, so we're going to break them off and then pull them through. Um, there's the odd here and there. Probably they still got to come out. Uh, but I did get the ends off, so I'll show you guys. They are on the ends. Usually these, sometimes these can be just solid uh, aluminum pieces, but these are cast, which is another form of, of aluminum, cast aluminum. So they go with our barbecues and stuff. And as you see, I just pulled it off. I actually just took the hammer. So that piece is clean. Took the screws out of it, as you can see. So it was on the clean. And this end piece is ready to come off too. See? Just come right off. And there's the other piece of cast right there, guys. There you go. And, uh... Well, I'll take the hammer to the end of it and knock it out. So it doesn't want to come right out because we I don't know. Sometimes I don't always want to come out. But the, it's ready to come apart, guys. So we'll get that apart. Get the glass off the side. Because uh, that's all got to be taken around, around it. So we'll do that in a bit here, too. And we'll throw it on the truck. So, yeah. Hard to hold the uh, phone and, uh, and do work, guys. So i got to get at it. All right, so here's that goodie bag that sat over there, guys, for, I don't know, a couple weeks or whatever. But I finally got through it. And this was the goodies that was all in it. Works up in my water cutters that weren't in it. I buried them, guys. But look at all that brass and stuff. Uh, there's even a flashlight. Probably just cast aluminum. Probably doesn't work. A couple pieces of number one in here. A lot of brass, stuff. So, and then we found some wire. Some wire in it, too. Something else can do a little. Another piece of cast, zinc die cast, and then a bracket and some stainless, which I'll throw my stainless bucket, guys. So not bad. Throw that in the one. So piece number one here, throw it in the moon bucket, and my brass bucket. I got a whole bunch here. 
And that's number one. So walking with the brass, including this torch thing. I don't care. I don't clean have to clean it. That's the way it is, guys. The way it goes in there. And they don't care. So not bad at all. Not bad little jagged stuff, guys. It was in the bucket. Or in the bag, I should say. Here's these ones here, number two. So I'll have to find another bucket. And a couple pieces of skin down the road. And that's for us too. Yeah, right on. So yeah, I'll get the bracket because you never know when you want to hold something in the shop. Finally got through that bag. So there we go. We got a pile on that side. We got a pile of steel on that side. We're not done yet. Truck is not loaded yet, guys. We still got some more stuff to toss on there yet. Oh yeah. We're cleaning as much as we can to get rid of as much of this crap as I can get rid of. And then we're uh, today I've been phew, come across a bunch of more crap that's gotta go. Oh. So we'll see. But anyhow, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.